Hey there, welcome back to No Recipe Required. Hope you're doing well. Today I've got a great pasta dish for you. I'm going to do a uh, ravioli with a brown butter sauce, which you uh, may have seen before. I've done it before on the site. This time though, we're going to add a little bit of um, broccoli, broccoli rabe to it. Broccoli, broccoli rabe is a vegetable. It's uh, obviously related to broccoli. It's kind of like broccoli when it was wild. Um, it's a, I find it has a little bit of a subtler flavor than broccoli. I think it's great to chop up, toss it with a ravioli like this. Uh, we'll throw in some sage because it's fall. I'm also going to use pumpkin ravioli because it's fall. Um, perfectly good with any kind of ravioli you want. Meat, cheese, you name it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead, get to it, start preparing our ingredients. Okay, so here's my, uh, here's my broccoli rabe. As I said, it's, um, it's a bit of an old school um, broccoli uh, before it was cultivated to the uh, you know, nice little florets we've got. You can see it does have some of these uh, florets right there, but it's got a lot of these leaves as well. And the leaves are exactly what we want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use, you know, kind of two bunches like this. Usually come in a whole big bunch. Um, you know, it's kind of up to you how much you use. Uh, you do want to kind of balance it with the pasta. I've got a package of pasta that is about this size. This is, um, this is what, eight and a half ounces, you know. So I'm going to use maybe a quarter cup of uh, broccoli rabe here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to um, cut it up. And then we're going to saute this off before we toss it with the pasta. And I'm going to go, you know, probably halfway down the stems or so. When it gets super thick like this, you know, you can probably use them. Um, I find they get a little bit woody, um, and I've got plenty here, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this pile here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our broccoli rabe and ravioli. I've got a pot of water um, that I've started on the uh, on the flame just to bring up to a boil so my um, so my water's ready when uh, when I'm ready with the um, with the pasta this is the broccoli rabe I've chopped I just put it in a uh, in a hot pan a little bit of olive oil there some salt and some pepper and I'm just gonna saute the uh, the broccoli rabe down to where it is uh, nice and soft and tender if needed you can add a little bit of water um, to the um, to this to kind of help it out. You can even grab a little bit of your pasta water and just throw in there. That'll sometimes help it help it break down a little bit. The other thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the back burner. Is I'm going to go ahead and get my brown butter sauce started. For that, I've got a uh, I've got a pan on the um, on the heat as well, and I'm going to go ahead and add a tab of butter. You should immediately start seeing that um, that flaming up. And for the amount of pasta I had, you know, I, again, I had about eight ounces of pasta, ravioli. You probably need two tablespoons of butter. Let that melt down, and I like to turn the heat down to low, and just let that um, let that butter slowly brown in uh, in the sauce, and that'll occur naturally. You don't want to, you know, go away and forget about it because it, uh, it can burn. And we're also going to go ahead and add a few just torn up sage leaves to our butter. And that sage is going to infuse with the butter. It'll get nice and crispy and make a delicious little brown butter sauce that we'll go ahead and toss the pasta in. Okay, my butter is just starting to get that nice little brown color to it. I'm going to turn the heat all the way down and I'm going to add my shallot and my garlic in there. And again, we're really just looking to let that shallot and garlic kind of soften up and poach in the butter. It doesn't really need to cook or fry. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead. This is getting essentially the color I want. And the residual heat will soften up that uh, shallot. So I'm just going to turn the heat right off and let it sit and kind of steep for a few minutes right there. My broccoli rabe, you can see the leaves have cooked down and the, um, the little bits of stem have gotten nice and tender. So those are pretty much done as well. I'm just going to turn the heat off of those as well. And I'm going to go ahead and drop our pasta into salted water. Once, uh, once that's done, we'll remove the pasta, we'll toss all this together. Okay, so my pasta is in the oven. <laughs> that's not in the oven, it's in the water. Um, 
when it's about a minute done, now remember I turned my brown butter sauce off so it wouldn't overcook. When the pasta is about a minute away from being done, I want to turn my, uh, my butter sauce back on. You can go ahead and you can do the same thing with the broccoli rabe. Uh, turn that back on, you know, medium to high and get everything heated back up because we're going to toss it all together. And then um, let's go ahead and drain our pasta out. We'll come back and add it, uh, add it to the sauce. Okay, I've got my drained pasta. We're going to add it to our brown butter sauce. We're going to go ahead and add our broccoli rabe in there as well. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of lemon juice to give this just a little bit of acid and go ahead and toss it to make sure everything is nicely mixed together. I didn't put any salt or pepper on the um, sauce yet so I need to do that. Let's give it one more toss. Make sure it's all coated. You want to try and make sure that you know, broccoli rabe gets spread around so everything is nicely coated. Then I like to uh, kill the heat and add a little bit of Parmesan cheese directly to the pan. I don't know if you can see my little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer plate. My mom gave that to me. Thanks, Mom. Give it one more toss. Then I like to finish it with just a little bit of fresh butter. Um, to kind of counterbalance or, or just, um, you know, we got a brown butter flavor in there. Um, the fresh kind of adds just another dimension to it. Get that in there. One more toss. And then uh, we're good. Let's go plate. Okay, so I've got my pasta bowl here. We can go ahead and serve our raviolis. And our broccoli, bro broccoli rabe in there. I'm having a tough time saying that today. Drizzle a little bit of sauce on the top there. And then maybe a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese as well. Make sure you clean up the plate a little bit if you want to serve it nicely to your guests. And then we're good to go. It's a pumpkin ravioli with broccoli rabe and a brown butter sage sauce. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.